Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at a weather record, diving into solar storm GPS impact, and a galactic modeling study. But we also have space weather to discuss, and that is where we will begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Two X-class solar flares erupted from the big but decaying southern sunspot group. We're still awaiting impact from the CME nearly three days ago. As I said yesterday morning, good chance impact wasn't going to be until today. But there are items to note about the last 24 hours, so let's get to those starting with the flaring. The impulsive X-class flares erupted from the big sunspots on the south. While they did not produce CME activity, here you can see a fairly violent coronal turbulence north of the bright active region, along with a restabilization of the massive plasma filament ahead of it, somehow found its footing again. We'll run through this a couple times here. While we are still watching the big northern and southern spots, both are decaying. Meanwhile, two new active regions are popping up now. We'll be monitoring all of it here today and tomorrow. Couple seismic notes next. Two magnitude six events the last day, both luckily were well away from highly populated areas. Usually a good thing when pressure release is out to sea. I'm a week late on this next one, but I just heard about the record breaking cold in Southern Australia. What's interesting is they confidently broke their previous cold record, which was only from 2021. These are not the sorts of things they will be playing on CNN. Up next, a good study out of India showing how the total electron content variations during solar storms are one of the key disruptors of their GPS systems during those events. This confirms that the navigational troubles often seen in solar storms are partly about the geomagnetic disruption and partly about atmospheric electricity. Last but not least here today, a fun model attempt of galactic dynamics in the central plane reveals nearly every possible tweak of the inputs results in more undulation than spiral arms. This is important because the galactic current sheet should be doing that. They've seen it, they've measured it, here and in other galaxies. Now they're trying to reconcile it with their galactic formation models. We greatly appreciate your support, still focused on the sun. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 15 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone